Welcome back to our medical channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial medical topic that affects many people, that is acute cholecystitis. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on our informative medical content. Now, let's jump right into it. The gallbladder is a remarkable organ located right beneath the liver. It plays a crucial role in our digestive process, storing bile produced by the liver, which helps break down fats. Bile flows to and from the gallbladder through cystic ducts, while the common bile duct carries bile to the small intestine, where it aids in digestion. Acute cholecystitis occurs when the gallbladder becomes inflamed. This inflammation is often triggered by gallstones obstructing the cystic or common bile ducts. These gallstones, composed of cholesterol or pigment, obstruct the flow of bile, which results in a buildup of bile within the gallbladder. As bile accumulates and the gallbladder becomes distended, the walls of the gallbladder can become irritated and inflamed. As the gallbladder becomes inflamed, it may also become susceptible to bacterial infections. Interestingly, acute cholecystitis can also occur without gallstones. This form, known as acalculus cholecystitis, is often due to factors such as gallbladder stasis and reduced blood supply, which can lead to tissue damage and inflammation. This can be caused by critical illness, sepsis, prolonged fasting or parenteral nutrition or vasculitis. Certain risk factors make individuals more susceptible to acute cholecystitis. These include being female, pregnancy, hormone therapy, older age, being Native American or Hispanic, obesity, and rapid weight changes, as well as diabetes. The symptoms of acute cholecystitis can be quite alarming. Patients often experience intense pain in the upper right abdomen, which can radiate to the back or right shoulder. Nausea, vomiting, fever, and tenderness in the abdominal area are also common. Clinical examination reveals a significant finding known as the Murphy's sign. A positive Murphy's sign is seen in acute cholecystitis. It refers to where the patient stops breathing due to pain when an examiner touches the inflamed gallbladder. It is elicited by firmly placing a hand at the costal margin in the right upper abdominal quadrant and asking the patient to breathe deeply. If the gallbladder is inflamed, the patient will experience pain and catch their breath as the gallbladder descends and comes in contact with the palpating hand. A similar maneuver in the left upper quadrant should not elicit discomfort. Diagnosing acute cholecystitis involves a series of steps. Blood tests such as full blood count, raised inflammatory markers, and deranged liver function tests help gauge the severity of inflammation and potential complications. An ultrasound scan is the first choice for imaging, detecting gallstones, and other abnormalities such as presence of sludge, thickened gallbladder walls, bile duct dilatation or pericholocystic fluid collections. In more complex cases, magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography, or MRCP, may be performed to assess biliary ducts. Magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography is a medical imaging technique. It uses magnetic resonance imaging to visualize the biliary and pancreatic ducts non-invasively. Another valuable imaging test is the cholecystography, where a radioactive substance is injected to visualize the gallbladder and its functioning. Treating acute cholecystitis involves a multifaceted approach. Antibiotics are administered to control infection, while fluids and painkillers help manage symptoms. In severe cases, a nasogastric NG tube may be inserted, and patients are kept nil by mouth to rest the gallbladder. 
Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, is sometimes used to remove gallstones or improve bile duct flow. This procedure combines endoscopy and fluoroscopy to visualize and treat problems in the bile and pancreatic ducts. It's commonly used to remove gallstones, treat obstructions, and improve the flow of bile. Recurrent cases might necessitate cholecystectomy, the surgical removal of the gallbladder. This procedure is crucial to prevent further complications. Acute cholecystitis can lead to serious complications, such as sepsis. Gallbladder empyema, where the gallbladder lumen is filled and distended by purulent material. And even gallbladder perforation, which require immediate medical attention. In rare instances, it can cause Maritzi syndrome. It occurs when a gallstone becomes impacted in the cystic duct and compresses or obstructs the common bile duct. This compression can lead to cholestasis, a condition where bile flow is blocked or reduced. Another rare complication is gallstone pancreatitis. In this scenario, gallstones pass from the gallbladder into the biliary tract and block the pancreatic duct, which is responsible for carrying digestive enzymes from the pancreas to the small intestinal. Lastly, we have cholecystoenteric fistula in which a large gallstone erodes through the gallbladder wall, creating a passageway, or fistula, into the small bowel or another part of the abdominal cavity. And there you have it, a comprehensive overview of acute cholecystitis. Remember, if you experience symptoms like severe abdominal pain, fever, or jaundice, it's important to seek medical attention promptly. Stay informed, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful medical content.